Broke a toe. Shit talker back. I was watching a few things last night and this came up. And it is. I guess it's Emma Amen TI Goodness Goddess. Well, okay. It is about Easy E. Around the time of Easy E, I don't know. I, I didn't know about, you know, like, I didn't listen to a lot of the music. However, I had heard about Easy E because around that time, I watched TV, certain things on TV, and I did watch the news. So that means I was under their spells. So it came on the news. I want you to hear him first. He said, with technology today, if you kill somebody, you go to jail forever, we kill each other, we go to jail forever. So now they have this new thing. If you get blood from someone who has AIDS, you stick it in someone else. Because they are going to talk about Easy E. This is 15 minutes and 29 seconds, so I am not going to go through this whole thing. This is Easy E, his death. See, this is new for me. I did not know that they had asked him to come to a gathering. And this is where they begin to use him. However, they say he died from AIDS. And as I said, I watched TV and I watched the news. And I had beliefs. Therefore, I was under, I was under their spells. When they say he died from AIDS, I said to myself, damn, that was quick. I mean, because I heard one thing about him and something else about him, but how come I never heard this? How come I never heard that he was invited to a gathering of the evil ones? And he was really happy to go. Happy is a spell. It makes you think that everything is okay. Cause I'm happy. Remember that song? I hated that bitch. And then I find out that nigga is gay. Of course you're gay nigga cause you're too fucking happy here in America. How can you be so happy here? How can you be so happy anywhere? How can you be so happy where bombs are being dropped? How can you come to America and be happy in America while America is dropping bombs? On your people. Yes, CNN and all these people like Easy gang member, uh, drug dealer, and all this, you know. And that's all I heard from him, about him. I heard all of this. He said he paid fifteen hundred dollars for a million dollars worth of publicity. And then this is death of a legend. He is of Harma Biff. You see, he is melanated, right? Harma Biff is a legend. And the leg and... And also G-E-N-E. Gene. They hide so much shit and then eat. So now they will eat his genes. Not only are they going to eat his genes to kill him, they eat our genes and our beliefs that they gave us AIDS. Now, I want you to see this. I do apologize, I just knew I had it. But they do have my mind tonight, today, this morning. 
I can really feel it. It's like it's, it's really tight. <coughs> this is only the trailer. And you should see this documentary. This is something that, that, um, um, Amy introduced me to. As soon as it comes on, it says when, W-I-N, also the number 13. So it says when, CIA, and they are going to win. There's 13. You start with 13, you end with 13. And this is the lawsuit, the Los Angels. Here you have E.O. This is the Los Scots, the land of the Los Scots. Enter nation. So someone is entering the nation. Film festival. I don't care what you come in. I come in this stuff too. So they, I can do things too when I write. I keep you under these spells because I write English myself. Now, let's go here. The other ID. You see that? The other ID of AIDS. And that is what he, someone is about to do. This person's name is Rob N. And if your name is Robert or Robin, something like that, really think of your life. Either you are a thief or you have been stolen from. A thief has stolen from you. You have either been robbed, or you will be a robber. I have found that to be true with all the robbers I know. If your name is Robert, you are a drug dealer, you are a thief. If your name is Robert and someone came inside your house and stole anything from you, or you are a targeted individual and your name is Robert, you are being robbed. Same thing. Explosively controversial. See, they are letting you know right now that AIDS is a con. More than that, whoa, hmm. I have seen the whole thing, and now I want to tell you how and why I found this. He said they isolated HIV. Now, when I first meet Amy, I'm here in San Diego, and she is in Richmond. Amy is going to court. She has got all her papers together. She, Amy did all kind of stuff like that. She just did not have enough of us standing behind her. Anyway, so I go up there, and Amy introduces me to all this knowledge, um, a road that I did not know I ever knew. I, I, I probably would have gotten to it. I don't know. She got me there. That's the road she was on. Amy said, Do, Stop looking at your family and start looking at the technology. Okay, so now I find the technology has my family acting so stupid. I prefer to know and to say it is the technology than to say something I birthed is so, so stupid. Now, Amy begins to tell me about herself. She goes to the AIDS, she said. They tried to tell me I had AIDS. She said, but I will not take the medicine. I told them I did not have AIDS. So, then they go to her cousin, Amy's cousin, and tell Amy's cousin. They say, well, we will use her cousin. So they go to her cousin, and, and um, they tell her she has AIDS, and she believes them. So she began to take the pills for the AIDS, and she dies. Amy is still alive. Amy is very healthy. Amy can walk fast. Amy can run. She is very healthy. She does not smoke. She eats, you know, very, she eats, like, uh, vegetarian, you know. She is um, 
pretty good at these things. There's nothing wrong with Amy. Amy does not have AIDS. So when Amy begin to bust my beliefs, see, this is why I start going into my beliefs and seeing that my beliefs are a bunch of lies. So when she begins to wake me up to the belief of AIDS, I start studying it. Because I am not going to allow you to tell me anything and I don't go and study for myself. I need to know. Not just you told me, but I need to know. So now I go and I find this. The other ID of AIDS and I was like, wow. And I we always play with this and said ass in deep shit. You know? So I feel right now. I have a form of AIDS because my ass is in deep shit here when I am a targeted individual in the United States and I ask the question are you and no one ever answers. So I guess I am the only targeted individual here in the United States. Now let's see what he says about AIDS. I just wanted you to know that Amy is the one that hit me to this and Amy can really speak on this but they are going to go into um the psychology of it, the, whatever it is, they speak it uh, on a different level than Amy does. But Amy can really wake you up when she tells you her story of their lies telling her she has AIDS. And Amy still does not have AIDS today. Amy is very healthy. She has nothing wrong with her body. says to tell you that you are infected with the virus, it is simply an illusion. A cinematic hand grenade. Well, I know there is CIA in this word. A hand grenade? Wow. He says an illusion. So when they tell you that you have AIDS and you believe them, that is part of the illusion. That is what the word believe comes from. It is part of the illusion. Understand scientific method. How positive are you? No, that was only the trailer. But there is a long video about this. And it is a documentary. But right now, it seems that all I can find our little bitty pieces. This is only 10 minutes and 3 seconds. No. This 8 thing. It is. um Very very long. I'm, I'm going to look at some more. I thought the trailer would help. But I want you to hear more of them. Now you're out. 